What is going on, YouTube? Thanks for joining us here at The Tilted Top, and today is a throwback review of the 2008 horror movie Amusement. And warning to everyone listening, there will be spoilers. Also, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to show us your support. Now, Sean is going to answer the question we are all waiting for. Was Amusement amusing? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, jokes. I got him. (laughs) Uh, what's this movie about? Three women are stalked by a killer with a grudge that extends back to the girl's childhood. Yep, that's, that's what the movie's on. about. Go, go on, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's horror, though, so you can get away with a simple plot just like that. Okay, so basically this movie was like three or four <laughs> movies kind of string together that's kind of how i felt uh so you're right it is like three uh stories that they try to stitch together but they seem so separate that you know it just doesn't it didn't work you know yeah that's why i said it almost felt like three different movies because they are so separate yeah and and so it starts off um following uh one of the one of the girls Mm -hmm. and you know, it's filled with all the stereotypic cliches of a horror movie. You know, a road trip. They meet, um, not a hitchhiker, but they, for some actually, what are they doing to begin with? They kept talking <laughs> about going into a convoy. So Yeah, they're if, driving. People, yeah, if you're driving, I get it. You go to a certain speed with other people, mm-hmm. but you never pull off and fill up your gas tank with them. Never. I. So... The only time I ever really did the convoy thing, which I've never personally have used that terminology or even heard of mm-hmm. it, uh, was when I lived in Vegas because cars would be flying like 85, 90 miles per hour. And then you right. just kind of get in a good rhythm with them. But yeah, you never pull over, fill up. Like who's all filling up at the same time, first of all? Like, no, and, and there's no point. Yeah. Like that's the thing because it shows. And it, anyone who was taking a road trip, you know. Like mm-hmm. you'll go the same speed and maybe they'll go faster. And then another group will come behind you, you know, and that's just what it is. But there's no advantage to traveling in a group. No. So they're just forcing bad situations on this girl. Mm-hmm. So you go, you fill up and, you know, you're, you're met with some questionable people. They're trying to make it a mystery. Like who's bad? You know, is the truck driver bad? Is the Ned Flanders looking guy bad? Which Kill we all Ned know. Flanders. <laughs> We all know that guy was shady from the beginning. Um, Here's when I knew this was going to be a good movie. Okay. When they're driving down the road and then she sees the girl in the back of the semi, right? mm -hmm. So this one I knew was going to be a good movie is when the girl in the semi jumps out the side, like the back side window and she flies through the wind like a feather Apparently, because <laughs> gravity does not work the same in this movie as it does in reality, where if she jumped out that window, she'd just fall to the ground. But in this, she flies all the way back, hits the car. Yeah. Right? Like dead center, too. Dead center. Yeah, dead center. <laughs> she hits the car dead center when she jumps out the side window. Hits the car dead center. <clears throat> and she's still alive, even after yeah. that. Well, the, the issue I have is none of this makes sense. Because it turns out, I'm going to keep calling him Ned Flanders. Mm -hmm. Ned Flanders is the bad guy Mm -hmm. this whole time. So it's one of those things. So did he put that woman in that truck? Did he know to follow them? Did he organize everyone to stop and gas up together? How did he know the other person was going to gas up? You know, all these things, it's just, it doesn't make any sense because you're led to believe that the truck driver is the terrible person. Mm -hmm. But then he just gets killed. And it's like, well, why did the truck driver stop there in the first place? Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's almost well, just like it was a super convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing about that made sense. They were just like, all right, we need to abduct this girl or mm-hmm. kill this main girl. And she's not even a main. She's nobody at this point in the movie. Yeah. So you're like, why did, what did I watch? It's almost like, you know how the beginning of horror movies have that intro where they kill a random person? Mm-hmm. That means nothing just yeah. to show the bad guy's bad. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do, but it lasted what, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, it, yeah. Way too long. Yeah. Too long. And, 
uh, you know, then it goes to the next girl. And we're like, okay, does at this point, does this have to do with anything? Well, one more thing before we get off that, the other one. Another part yeah. where I knew it was going to be a great movie was when <laughs> was when the dude is going to chase him down and the guy runs in a perfectly straight line. Yeah. I I love in movies when they do that. Nobody zigs, nobody zags. <laughs> like, we don't do that. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue, continue. Well, no, I can't. We got to talk about this more. <laughs> I, I hate how more well, why is it that nobody can drive in horror movies? No, no never, never. No. They're crashing, they're mm-hmm. speeding into nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Just, and who takes I don't know what car they have, but it looked like a you know, a two wheel drive, like a Corolla. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're gonna go off this dirt road on a road trip. Nobody does that. It's the convoy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the guy has He's, a truck, sure. He said he said Hey, he knows that there's gonna be a lot of traffic, so we gotta follow him up this dirt path nowhere road which would have been i would have let slide if the guy who said that was um the bad guy because didn't the truck driver say it was it the truck driver i thought it was i thought i thought it was the the ned flanders dude. Well, so i i think the, ned Flan- the laugh. flanders yeah he, he was like oh they say we should go this way. But then how did he convince a truck driver? You don't convince a truck driver. You know, everyone was following the truck driver. So they organized it yeah. to where that's what was going no, on. Yeah, yeah, it was the truck driver. Yeah. And even if it wasn't and they, it was the lie mm-hmm. from the laugh, how did he convince the truck driver to go down a shady dirt road? Truck yeah, yeah. I, th- yeah. I think that's just all part of that um, convenience thing that you're talking about. I think it was actually the yeah. truck driver who. Yeah. Who would have had to do that because he has, you know, his, his radio and stuff, letting him know what's going on. Apparently nobody has GPSs. I know it's, yeah, it's 2008. Nobody has GPSs, but I thought about that too. Is it, do we have, I don't, maybe truck drivers. I don't know. It doesn't matter. GPSs were everything. I mean, it might've been a Tom Tom or yeah. Truck driver probably had it. He knows his routes. Mm -hmm. Like he's not going to go down dirt road. But anyway, so after that, they don't show the girl getting killed. <clears throat> they show the girl getting like taken. And mm-hmm. then it cuts to a- another girl, which um, is ca- the only actress that I know, which is Catherine Winnick. Mm-hmm. Just I know her from Vikings. Yeah. And I'm it like, took oh, me shit. a second. I was like, I, I recognize her from something. Yeah, I don't I'm look like, it oh, up, sh- actually. Shit, it's Lagatha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's great. I guess she was doing a lot of, you know, these low budget horror movies and teen movies before, you know, she kind of broke out of yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, I, I recognize a couple of them. Like one of the boyfriends, I recognize him from, um, Veep. Like he's one of the main characters in Veep. And then, uh, the laugh himself, I recognize him cause he plays, um, he's in the weddings. No, uh, wedding crashers. Oh yeah. yeah. He is. <laughs> he plays the, the weird creepy guy. Yeah. The creepy guy. In wedding <laughs> crashers. Yeah. But it wasn't like, a-list actors mm-hmm. here at the time. They, I mean, they may be now, but in 2008, they weren't. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it cuts to her, and I'm like, okay, so we're going to get some story, right? No. You Nope. The writer and director are like, we're not giving you any story. Yeah, that whole situation was weird, too, because that's like... That's when it kind of started to seem like it's turning into like a... Like a, uh, like a Halloween-type situation with him terrorizing her inside the house and going after her inside the house and then he had the weird like tri blade thing and the the kids were like oh he just wants to play or whatever like the kids knew that he was in there didn't (laughs) say anything no that doesn't make sense either yeah because because all the stuff that's happening it's it's the laugh you know he's just dressing up as different people and hiding and causing all this this havoc i guess Mm -hmm. and Again, this is the writer and director. They're just like throwing creepy shit at you. They're like, you know, what should work? They're like, oh, clowns are creepy. We're going to have a room filled with clowns. And the idea, yeah, it's creepy. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to have this. We're going to have that. We're just going to keep throwing these, you know, cliches and, and everything. And that whole scene just, I mean, how did he get in? How did he change into the clown outfit? How do you sit there? 
you know, why did the girl not take the mask off when she got close to it just because a phone rang or, you know, whatever happened, you know, it's just convenient, um, how this is all happening. And again, as a a viewer, we're like, who is this person? Like, who's the clown? Who's the, Mm -hmm. the girl? Yeah. Yeah. At this point we still don't know. Right. Yeah. Nobody cares about any of these characters. Yeah. And then it, it, it shows that this the laugh the bad the bad guy that's you know dressing up and doing all this stuff he's killing random people too at the same time mm-hmm. so it's not the, just targeting these three girls Mm-mm. and uh, it, it, well it's all it, it's almost like he is targeting the three girls but there's he has no issue with collateral damage yeah well at basically. that point it's just you're just a killer like why even <laughs> yeah uh, but then you know he or she gets saved she jumps out the window she gets away right yeah, she gets well she jumps out the window crawls in the shed finds the babysitter yeah, yeah, yeah that's, right, that's right that's right but oh, ultimately that's another part when i when i'm like okay 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 this movie's yeah. really getting good now <laughs> <laughs> when she opens up when she opens it up and the dead babysitter just falls yeah. stiff as a board on top of her and she just falls down like yeah eh. Hey, didn't you know dead people weigh like a hundred more pounds than they do when they're less? So bad. <laughs> that's just that's just facts. <laughs> um, but um, so then she gets away ultimately, and then she goes to what seems like a uh, a psych ward or some not a psych ward. That's a bad way. Like she's being interrogated by. Yeah, that people. I was that whole scene was confusing as hell because first they start off with the laugh dressed up as an fbi agent Mm -hmm. and he's obviously from the start you're like people don't why is she being interrogated like she was just like the victim of a crime and then and then the lady comes in who is she is she yeah who is she See, that's, that's what doesn't make sense. If the laugh was doing all this by himself, it would make sense. So, you know, he tried to kill her, uh, or he wasn't really trying. He was trying to mess with her and then abducted her and pretended to be a cop and was interrogating her, doing all that stuff on his own, completely just him. Mm-hmm. I could let this slide because that makes sense. Yeah. But he had other people that it was almost like they were playing along with it. Which, and then fast forward to the movie, they're like, they weren't playing along with it. They didn't know. They got tricked too. And it's like, but no, how? Like it doesn't work. <laughs> like she, she's her. Uh, she's billed as psychiatrist. That's her. That's what she is in the movie. Yeah. So, so, so how did she end up? Because apparently, this whole thing takes place in his little dungeon place, whatever it yeah. is. So this random psychiatrist walks into this creepy old dungeon house and like, this seems legit. <laughs> yeah. One, but like, the, it's the, the writers, they want it. It's like they saw, um, the movie saw and they were like, <laughs> we need a clever villain and we need to make it different, you know, like yeah. traps. And how do we do it? Oh, we're gonna have the laugh and he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, play with his victims instead of just kill them. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, sure. Let's, let's, let's see it happen. Mm-hmm. But they were like, how do we make this believable? Will it be be- yeah. But they were like, well, it'd be believable if they had a psychiatrist there and then the audience will be confused, but they never wrote it in you know, a good way to make that believable. They, but, yeah. There, there's, yeah. They never wrote why she would be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. And so, um, they do cut away after this is all happening. They, they try to do a little backstory. They tried it. This is when they, um, sh- so they showed a flashback of mm-hmm. three girls when they were children and a, and a boy and they were, um, doing like a science project. Yeah. And I don't know what they're called, but you know, you look through a box and you see shit inside the box. Mm-hmm. And, and so they all have normal things. And the, the boy has a squirrel that's like flayed and it just looks yeah. so cheesy. It's just sitting there. It's like, Twitching look like, look like a twisted <laughs> um Wes Anderson movie. Yeah. I just I don't know. I get where they're going. They're trying to show that he's a little demented yeah, as a he's, kid. Yeah, he's a little psychopath. Yeah. But 
they could have done that scene a little better. So now we get a little idea of what's going on. We're like, okay, there's three girls and a psychopath. Mm-hmm. And you're, it's probably that guy. And they cut away to the third girl. Mm-hmm. And then, and, and, and they're at a club and everything. And she loses her friend. Her friend goes home with, you know, the guy. Yeah. And it's just like, what, why are you grabbing these random people and killing them when your targets just like right there? <laughs> like, so, cause what happens if the girl didn't care and never went to go try to find her friend? Yeah. The laugh would just be like, well, shit, I need a new plan. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of forget exactly how that all played out with the third girl. So I, I thought the third girl had potential. Yeah. Not just because, but again, the it's just not direct, memorable at all to me. Yeah. Again, the director and whoever let me get some names so I stop calling the director. So the director is John Simpson, um, and screenplay by Jake Wade Wall. Mm-hmm. So both of them were like. Okay, you know what would be creepy? An old hotel. And so they get that third girl to go to an old creepy hotel. And it's like, you know what would be creepier? What if we have a guy that's like a butcher? You know, because the butcher and everything, you see that in a lot of horror movies. You know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and everything. He's got like that get up. And they're like, well, what if we make him a little kind of like a scientist too? So now you have this guy who's like a doctor, butcher thing. And again, it's the laugh dressed up. Well, it's one of those villains, too, where it's like they're obviously going for something, but it's like, hey, you know, crazy. I feel like we talked about this in an earlier movie we did, but it's like, here's 10. We want you at a 20. (laughs) You know, every single time you could do an evil laugh, do it. Well, he's the laugh. I mean, you got to have it. (laughs) Even though it makes no sense. Yeah, and the the, it, the kills were just so uh, predictable, you know. Like when he yeah. like 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 when the boyfriend like, oh, I'm the health inspector, let me in. And the guy's like, okay, and then <laughs> he goes yeah. in there, and then he shows him the the um, like a music box yeah, thing like thing. yeah, the music box thing. He's like, yeah, why don't you spin it and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, it's a super cheesy, and he. You never does it. look at anything in a horror movie. You yeah. never really like put your eye up to it. And he's dressed like he's from like, like like he's like a, a mad scientist from like the nineteen thirties. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't like you could tell something's off. Yeah, like if if you open that, and you saw that guy, and it's like because he's not old. You know, if he was older and creepier, that look would work. But he's just like this young guy who's just like dressed up. It it didn't fit. Um, but then they try to, um, have another creepier thing. It's like, all right, so now we're going to have a, you know, mentally handicapped guy who's trying to help you, but really he's a, he's the evil guy and they, you're going to sew people into beds. Mm -hmm. All this, all this stuff is creepy on its own. And it's just like, they were really just grabbing creepy after creepy. And they're just like, let's put it together and put it in a blender and see what happens. And then just shit happened. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's why I was saying it just felt like it felt like a bunch of different movies just trying to like stitch together. Basically, it was weird. Yeah. Uh, so they grab that other girl and then they go back to Catherine Winnick's character. Yeah. And that's when the psychiatrist w- pretend like out of nowhere. She's like, wait a minute. Something's off. What's going on? And it's like, you didn't know something was off this entire <laughs> time. And so she runs out, gets killed. <laughs> but you're right. But the, the issue with that is to, for her to be in that room, she already had to walk through that creepy ass exactly. dungeon. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Makes no yeah. sense. It, it, they didn't even try. <laughs> no, no. So then it, it's, you know, it solidifies that this guy was trying to get back at these girls because they treated him like a weirdo because he was a weirdo. <laughs> like, Yeah. Appar- apparently they, well, what I gathered happened was he showed them that and it, they told on him and he ended up spending some time in like a psych ward or something. Who let this guy out? Probably the psychiatrist who, <laughs> <laughs> <He> just... <laughs> who walked in the dungeon with him to interrogate the, 
the girl who got I, attacked. I think they hinted on that because she she was just like she realized that it was that guy, and that's when she freaked out. She was like, "What do you mean it's that guy? Like I used to, you know." But then it's like, "Who got you there?" <laughs> bad at her job i'll tell you that yeah so then you know they go on and she runs through his creepy dungeon which is kind of it seems like it's orchestrated by him it's almost like he planned all this to happen so every, it's like, oh. every single step yeah it's like oh this guy's great but then when he gets stabbed in the neck it's like i don't think he planned that because because he <laughs> he was he was a guy who was the deaf guy upstairs too right he was all of them yeah he was all of them right so yep. he knew that this girl was going to like sneak into the house. He was outside, right? She, she tricked him. He went outside and then she snuck into the house and ran straight upstairs. And when she got upstairs, he was sitting up there already on a bed, completely yeah. changed the clothing and everything. Tele- teleportation. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. He, he's the laugh. Like we have no idea if he has superpowers or he's not. He's the laugh. You're it's right. just the laugh. It's like, he, they it's like really Freddy Krueger, basically. Yeah, they wanted to create the next big villain, the, the Freddy, the Jason, you know, Mike Myers, and they got the laugh. Yeah, man, it's like it's like they're sitting there writing this story, and then they come up with that part in particular, and nobody in the room was like, "How does he get up to the room before she does and changes clothes, does his it, hair differently, takes off his mad scientist outfit?" Yeah, uh, he's got. People who are elevators. watching this movie are stupid. We don't need to worry about that. Wait, well, I don't even know where he got this hotel from. I you know. just kill the people and just go on in. It's big too, a huge like, basement. But then he has the 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 dungeon also. Yeah, and I don't know what he had in the first one. It's probably like a station wagon he was driving around. <laughs> but he has these things, and I guess you can assume he killed all these people. Hmm. But. It, uh, then they bring all the girls together and they try to make it seem like it's, oh, he flayed them alive. But really, it was just like a shitty plastic, mm. you know, thing on their torso. And I'm like, OK, I mean, I, OK, yeah, I'll let I'll let that go. But then uh, it's cheesy it, as she he was going to actually stab one of the girls, um, Tabitha. So Catherine Rank's character, she mm-hmm. starts laughing because she knows maybe if she does that, then they'll drop his guard and. All he wants is, I don't know, to be loved or understood. And then she stabs him in the neck. Mm-hmm. And another horror. If you stab someone in the neck and they fall and they're on the ground, keep stabbing them. Kick them. Nah. Nope. No, let's just run. Yep. Which that running got all the other girls killed. Mm-hmm. Every single one. If they all just would have, if she would have just kept kicking him, stab a couple times, everyone would have lived. He got stabbed. He got knocked down a shaft. Oh, that'll kill a girl. That won't kill a guy, though, for mm-hmm. some reason. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I thought there... that. I thought that when he was uh, okay. Yeah, he's the laugh. Okay, I guess yeah. we established that. <laughs> but then they start. You know, it's just running in this whole thing. I'm like, oh, this is organized. There are orchestrated. He knows this is going to happen because where she runs, she ends up back in the house, and then you're like, now she's in a cage, and it's like. Okay, so he planned this whole thing, but mm-hmm. it's like every single step was planned. Yeah, and then he's like, "All right, so you know what'd be cool? My house is really a truck, <laughs> and, <I'm... laughs> and I need to transport this girl somewhere because I'm not done, you know, laughing at her, mm-hmm. or messing with her." Mm-hmm. And it's just so because that's when I thought, "Oh, this is gonna be one of those movies that leaves on a." You know, a sad note. She never got away because all this, you know, he planned. Mm-hmm. And it's just like he just drives away. And I thought they're gonna roll credits, but he, no. He, he he starts driving away, and then the truck breaks down. And then there's oh, just course. like a there's just like a 45 second shot of the truck sitting in an empty field and with him trying to rev the engine. Yeah, that's a cool but, shot. Yeah. So of course, you know, he needs to check to see if the girl's okay, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a peephole. Of course, yeah. Yeah, the callback to the little um, uh, project that they did. And they didn't <laughs> earn planned. that. planned. The they whole thing. They did not thing. earn the stabbing. This dude's a genius, dude. I don't know. Yeah. So, of course, he's like, he's going to look. I don't know why. He's just going to look. Just my car broke down. I'm just going to see if she's okay, alive. And, oh, we're going to leave all my dangerous toys in that truck, too. <laughs> yeah, right. 
<laughs> that uh, okay 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 so i guess that could make sense oh where, come on no 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 listen to me not that not that he planned on her running in there but that that truck is where he keeps all this stuff so that he could so he has it all mobile you know what i mean uh, okay yeah so i guess that but he still just forget that all that's in there yeah i don't know maybe why I, does it have a peephole why was that even a thing? Because he likes he, to look at his stuff when he's driving. <laughs> from the back, he has to get out, walk to the back, and then look. No, no, you know, he, he's driving. He's going to go murder somebody. He's at a stoplight. He's like, you know what? Let me look back and admire my uh, my killer goodies back here. <laughs> I, well, wasn't it at the, the back of the truck, though? Didn't he have to get out and walk to the back of the truck where he looked? Oh, what? That's I thought. If I remember right, that's what he did, because he yeah he did because then he died and just fell on the ground. He wasn't in the car. You're right. Yeah. See, so the, you're right. It doesn't make sense. And why? How are you parking the truck in a house to begin with? I just I guess I kind of assumed that it was just a truck like bar, like backed up to like a garage and the garage door was open. I, I forget exactly how that end oh, part wait. played out, and, though. And then, it, and then it happened to have a, a like a manhole with a ladder right below it that you can crawl into the truck. Man, I don't know. I think we're trying to make too much sense of this movie. <laughs> I, for some reason, I'm trying to help yeah. it make sense, but <laughs> so so the big climb. I was like, all right, she's if she would have just died or got taken away, and they rolled credits, I'd be like, well, that was bad. But it would made it would have been a better ending than what we got, which was, oh, he's going to look to the people. I'm going to stab him with this claw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's how pretty. this thing ends? Yeah. You can't have a sequel, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the it whole just, thing was crappy. This <laughs> movie was a perfect example. Like This should actually be in like taught in college. Oh. In a writing class of what not to do, oh. like like a horror, like think of that, like a workshop. Yeah. They go in and be like, "All right, everyone, we're gonna watch amusement. We're gonna break down what you shouldn't do in your screenplay." It's crazy though because that's so many, so many horror movies are just. I mean, so it's like it's like it's like how do people get these horror movies made? Yeah, the issue with this one is if this was like a B horror movie with low budget, I would have let almost all this slide, but they had $10 million, which isn't like an astronomical, a lot for a movie, but for, you know what it is, we could have got a lot more movie for 10 million. Blumhouse could have turned this into a great movie for $10 million. Yeah. I think like this is what happens when you have rich friends <laughs> that can just produce. This has to be what it is because the, the writer, let me click on this guy real quick. I don't think he has a lot going I, for him. I saw that this was the last movie that, that the director directed. That makes sense. The writer is still doing stuff. Yeah, but the the writer hasn't done, as far as writing, he hasn't done much. Credited for six things. Recently, it's Jacob's Ladder. And I think that that's a remake, right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that one yet, but everything else, you know, Devil's Backbone. They're all B movie or. Right. Cabin Fever Three. Mm -hmm. Patience, you know yeah. what is that's that must be a super B movie, right? Yeah, there. <laughs> all of them are. I mean, The Hitcher was probably the the biggest one, which yeah. he did right before this. But what doesn't make sense to me is like his writing credits are all horror movies, so you you would think this would have been better, you know? It, it just wasn't. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think we've said enough. <laughs> Everyone knows how Sean feels when well, he knew sad. this was a good See this movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone needs to watch this so you can hate on it. This no, is like I, a perfect movie to hate on. If you're just looking to be upset. If you're looking to like rage watch a movie, yeah. it's a good movie to watch. Yeah, because it lacks the charm of B-horror movies. Yeah, it, it really does. Like... I, I'm trying to think of some like redeeming factors because I can find redeeming factors in most movies that I watch. It's hard to find it in this movie. 
hard to find anything. The The villains sucked. All the, everybody just sucked. I don't know. Even like when they're first having the conversations in the car at the beginning, the acting was just so. Oh yeah. That was was terrible. Like stiff. And they could have cut, they could have cut that whole thing out. There's no point to ever have them talking that much in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I did yeah. not. I did not expect this movie to have a ten million dollar budget. No, but I think the only redeeming quality I can give it is, you know, they had some creepy imagery. Um, I mean, they didn't display it properly, but the idea behind it, you know, was yeah. was there. Um, Pretty weird but, that this person just has a. I guess some people do, but a suburban house to just have one room dedicated to creepy looking dolls. Yeah. I mean, they try to write it off and just be like, yeah, I, you know, it's like I told them to get rid of it or, you know, I told that guest room was kind of yeah. over the top, but it, it doesn't excuse the writing there. With, um, with all that said, I plan on watching more horror movies like this. Like I'm looking forward to watching a lot, a lot of ones? horror movies that I haven't seen because, <laughs> yeah, because I do, I do like horror movies a lot, but I have a tendency to kind of stay clear of the ones that I'm worried might be crappy. So, yeah, I mean, well, for good reason when it came to this one, but <laughs> there's hidden gems out there. And if anyone listening knows of them, leave them in the comments so we can go and watch them. Mm-hmm. But I think that's uh, that's all we have, right? I think it's time to write a sequel to this movie. Oh, it's up to you. I'll let you do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we will see everyone later.